everyone, welcome back to Animal Crossing with me, Austin John Plays, and good morning, Butter Pup. Good morning, everyone. Right now on Plays, it's 10.55 a.m. on Tuesday. There's no news that you can think of, only that it's Tuesday, so be sure to pace yourselves. Don't overdo it. Isabel signing off. Bye, Isabel. I actually have a very, very fun announcement. Me calling Isabel Butter Pup has taken off so dramatically that... People have been requesting merch of it, so right now we have a limited series of tank tops, women's tank tops, two different models, sweatshirts, and mugs of all of our custom Good Morning Butter Pup get it at austinjohnplays.com slash merch. Great! Alright, so just some updates on what I did last night. Two days ago, I visited a friend's island and we experimented with how Red's mechanics work and I actually got fake art and Submitting the fake art to Blathers actually gives you an achievement, so that was pretty neat. And today, I have my real art from Red. Thanks, bud. I also had some friends over last night to water some flowers, so let's go take a look at those. Alright, fantastic, fantastic. I decided to take my cloning areas, or the flowers that I need to clone, and keep them separate from everything else. Wow, the Black Cosmos look scary. But yeah, just keeping two flowers that can't breed next to each other. In fact, see these two flowers? They can't breed with these two flowers, which can't breed with these two or these two. And then they all clone, and cloning is better than breeding. It looks like my hybrid red still did not give me a blue. I'm in the process of breeding all of these boys to get more oranges for the tulips, so I could take the tulips and make purple tulips. And for the mums, I'm trying to breed the red and white ones for yellow ones that are hybrid, which we have one, two, three right here. And those three hybrid yellows have a chance to give me a green. A very, very, very small chance of giving me a green. They also give me purples, and those purples can give me greens, which is neat. So, great. Let's clean up this area a little bit first. And uh, right here is <laughs> Zoe. Zoe gave me blue roses, because I was tired of trying to get blue roses, so I'm no longer trying to get blue roses. Although, I am keeping these islands here, these island flowers, because there's a chance they could give me blue, and I just want to see if that's even a thing for me. I also took the opportunity to take all of my flowers here that I was currently, like, breeding and cloning and stuff like that, and putting down these, these very, like, industrial plain signs. And I learned that if you're ever trying to make signs like this, Using lowercase letters are usually much smaller than uppercase letters. So I have that going for me, which is nice, but like I've done cloning the black tulips and I can plant down black tulips now. Hey there, Gulliver. Last time you showed up on my island, which was last week, I, uh, I collected all your things and then I forgot to, to give them to you. So I ended up with, with five rusted parts. Yeah, that's a thing. If you collect the parts for Gulliver, but don't give them back to Gulliver, you just get rusted parts. So, if you want to build a robot hero faster, there you go. That's how I had to do it. Manila's my favorite flavor of clam. Johnny Depp, I got your parts right here. Even though there's no resolution from this right now, I just feel like I need to do it on camera. Otherwise, I'm going to forget to do it. I can't check my other player's mail, can I? I don't think that's a thing. But I can invite my second player to come check their mail and give me their art. <laughs> I just got the notification that Austin 2 is playing Animal Crossing. Jolly Reds, thank you very much. And my mom sent me something. Cool. My mom sent me 3,000 bells. Thanks, mom. I'm getting the hang of this. Oh, I love the campsite here. I love it here. It's so perfect. All right, so let's put some bushes behind here to give it a little bit of life. And only rare flowers around the outside. That's what makes it magical. Oh my god, Drago's wearing the Snorlax dress! Oh, I love him. I knew I loved him. Oh, let's go look at our new staircase. Oh, that works so well. So well. Let's go give Blathers some of his new art. Jolly painting and quaint painting. I feel like I want to start buying all the uh, the fake paintings as well, like the fake pieces of art, just cuz. Like, they'd be cool to decorate with and hang in my house, stuff like that. Our museum already has these fossils. I'm so close to having all of the fossils in the game. I'm short by like two or three of them. Bloop, what you got? Something good? Something good? Please don't suck. I would really like this big workbench. A natural mum wreath. Is it just me or since the whole uh, Earth Day event, there's way more natural DIYs 
Like my message in a bottle was a pear rug. I feel like I'm just getting all the the fruit based things. Like I have so many wreath options at this point. Pear rug, natural mum reef. Like look at all this fruit stuff. I have four orange things, three cherry things, six peach things, two coconut things, just a whole lot. We have a new message on the bulletin board. May 1st is May Day, <laughs> and we're giving you a special travel ticket as a gift. Swing by resident services between May 1st and May 7th to get it. Neat. You know, I hate to pat myself on my own back, but like, putting the dates on when I want to do these things, such a good idea. So I made a little bit of an issue when it came to the houses because I'm doing a circle and I based it off of a three by three. Is that the houses, I assume that they were five wide, but they're only four wide. And because of that, it awkwardly lays it out that, you know, it can't be centered to these blocks. So up here, I pan them to the left, but that affects the circle. So now I need to pan them all to the right, and I have these two plots here that I need to move these two houses to, or from. So that's going to delay this whole area by two days. Yay. When it comes to down here and what's eventually going to be my farm area, or maybe I'm just going to make this, you know, rare flowers to cross or to clone every day. I love my pond up there and I'm going to keep that there. And I love the hedges on the flat surface. Eventually the staircase is going to move back a little bit. I created this awkward three wide area. So I thought it'd be nice to just do white flower on dark dirt and then dark flower on light dirt so I grab the four flowers that there are black variations of and I'm gonna plant like all the whites here blacks here whites here so it's just like I don't know a little accent piece but it's the whole point is down here is wild and crazy and natural and up here is formatted and man-made like you look at this and you're like wow there's no way that these flowers just grew in like that know what i mean and i'm still trying to figure out the pattern to which the nooklings sell seeds every day because i feel like there's kind of a pattern but then there's kind of not a pattern so actively work oh julia's reading a book by the pond that's why we built it you know there's a bench right there and still all things that I already have. <laughs> what are my seeds today? Windflower, hyacinth, and rose. <sighs> this little bear umbrella. It's adorable. I've now come to realize that the game's dynamic weather usually kicks in five minutes before the new hour. So the game just got a little foggy, a little misty, and I have a feeling that in five minutes it's gonna rain. Let's see if I'm right. Yep, there it is. Great, I don't need to water my flowers today. Oh, so you ready for a really big truth bomb? Like the kind of truth bombs that you only hear on the Austin John Plays videos? It has to do with gold watering cans and getting gold roses. If I have all these black roses here and I go to use my watering can to water all of them, not all of them can produce a gold rose. In fact, only the one directly in front of me this one right here, or essentially the middle of the nine squares that is watered, has the ability to produce a gold rose. So if I were to stand here and water nine black roses, all of them are considered watered and have the chance of, you know, crossbreeding, but only the one directly in front of me can produce a gold. So for your maximum ability to get gold roses every day, you have to go and you have to water each black rose individually. Just like this. That is the only way that all of your black roses have an opportunity at producing gold roses every day. Which also means that you could just come here and separate them so that they don't have a chance of crossbreeding and they only have a chance of cloning. And it can clone to black 50% of the time and it can clone to gold 50% of the time. But this is in no way less effective than if it was in a big patch. In fact, we're currently working on figuring out the durability of a can in regard to watering a large area. So stay tuned for that. This neat little area between the Able Sisters and the museum. I want to make this sort of like an extension of the walkway itself. Not what I wanted to do. I want to make this an extension of the walkway itself and sort of be like a nice little 
I don't know, almost r rest stop sort of area, if that makes any sense. I also decided to put some vertical board fencing behind the entire island because, well, you don't want to fall off of a cliff. Especially when you're just hanging out doing, you know, your own thing, right? First things first is now I have a whole bunch of street lamps, so I'm going to be putting these down in the four corners that I previously talked about doing. Nice. Yeah, I like that. Would it be too much to put more at the end of these little walkway paths? I put a nice little tree right there. We could put down a candy machine. Nope, snack machine. There we go. And then the drink machine. Nice. And then the Able Sisters, they're gonna have a little garbage can out here. And in front of the uh, the tree, I'm gonna have this electric kick scooter just kind of chilling there, kind of leaning up. And then I kind of want to mess with the idea of the utility poles to make this area feel, you know, more formatted. And I don't know if I want them like so far forward. Maybe put the utility pole where the street light is. Because in real life, utility poles are in front of your house. Unless, of course, you know, you live in an urbanized area that has underground electric and everything else like that. Oh, I like that back there. So it's like you get it in the horizon, but not in the, you know, forefront. Okay. Oh, I didn't realize that the museum is visibly different now. That's neat. See, Animal Crossing decoration is all about trial and error. You put it down and you're like, yep, love it or hate it. <laughs> One of the two. And then I also feel like it would make sense for a phone booth. Because like any time that you're in like a public area like this, I mean, you know, phone booths don't really exist anymore. But anytime you're in a public area, you would always have like access to like a phone booth or something else like that. Question is, do I want to put that on the terracotta? I also don't like the way that that's clipping on the grass. Okay, so let's try the terracotta floor. How much do I wish that you can just put flooring underneath the entrance to the museum the way you can for villager houses? So much, so much I wish this. Yeah, I like it definitely not clipping onto grass. Okay, yeah, and then, I don't know, something else here. For now, I just have this candy machine in my inventory, so why not? This needs something to sit on. I almost forgot to see if any of these items can be customized. <laughs> nope. The drink machine can. <laughs> I love this here. I really like this. Between the Able Sisters and the museum, a nice little, nice little piece of formatted land. I like that a lot. I'm really crazy about the idea about just getting more street lights. Like instead of this here, put it right here and put them at the edge of all of the fences along the whole path. Except for like right there, of course. Maybe on the outsides? I just realized how well the dino throwback screen grass blends between the terracotta and the grass border to the museum. That's like magical. Oh, I think I have a bush. What if I put the bush behind the, uh, the, the telephone thing? You can customize the mountain standee to be spring, cherry blossom, Summer, Kyoto in summer, which I don't know why that's Kyoto in summer, fall, and winter. You can do the same thing with the grass, except you don't get uh, the Kyoto option and you don't get the cherry blossom option. But I think that's pretty cool. Moral of the story, kiddos, always, always try to customize everything. Wow, that is very small. Oh, and because it's, it's not a throwback screen, it takes up a full space. I also think we should be able to customize this to make it look like the Mario Mountains. Oh yeah, look at that. That is that is a thick boy back there. Even the grass has its own little thing. Alright, well let's go to the Nook Shopping app and let's search for standee. Search for screen. Is there a website that can show me everything that's half block? Between the wiki and Nookazon, I found only the dino screen is only a half size pixel screen sort of thing. As far as partitions, there's the bamboo partition, which I own, the imperial partition, which I own, and then also something called the frozen partition, the mush partition, which has mushrooms, and the shell partition. I have no idea how to get those things. The frozen partition looks really cool. Like putting that on the outside of like a skating rink. 
But in the meantime, I could just grab my bamboo partition. I also have my symbol panels. And I know those are half a pixel. God, there's some really cool patterns in here. Unfortunately, there's nothing I really see here that stands out of, hey, I should put this in front of a museum. Yeah, I don't like that. It was such a fleeting dream of seeing something blend so perfectly. But nope. Nope, that's the only thing that had that magical blending right there. Okay. I also decided to put some garden lanterns down to see if I like that, which also follows the high-low, high-low sort of idea, which I'm not mad against. Just casually walking through here and seeing, like, the environment built back there and also the throwback dino screen, like, that looks nice. That looks really nice. So whatever I build here can't be high. It has to be low. It has to be non-obstructive. Meanwhile, down here, if it's tall, it doesn't matter because the hedges are already blocking the view. I can't be the only person who's so tired of seeing their native flowers that they just they just get rid of all of them. I don't want any common roses or hyacinths on my island. I'm even kind of over the, the rare hyacinths at this point just because I've had them for so long. I guess that's kind of how I feel about the oranges too. It's now occurred to me that Kitty Cat still hasn't been rescued and now she has a thought bubble. So I'm kind of curious what Kitty Cat has to say. Like if she wants to move out, oh no, I only have 80,000 Nook Miles worth of tickets. Kitty Cat's ready to leave. Maybe it's time. Now, I do like Kiki, but a friend of mine actually is collecting cats on her, their island and they need Kiki. And I actually planned in the long run to get rid of Kiki anyways, so maybe it's time. Thanks for the encouragement and thank you for everything you've done for me before now. I'm excited for a new adventure, but I know I'm gonna miss you. So long. So I'm gonna have my friend come over so they could get Kiki. Kiki can leave here. Is it cause, cause, cause you've been stranded for like four days? Is that why you're trying to get out of here? I really can't decide how I want this one to be laid out. I guess I'll just keep it like that for now. I mean, in hindsight, the natural ramp would have probably worked better since, you know, I'm seeing the side here and it would have been just the same cl cliff face. So later on down the road, after we have a second stairway up here, we could get rid of this staircase and put in a natural ramp. I gotta say, it's a magical thing when your first rock hit is gold. Also, this took so much time, but uh, so worth it. Ooh, I should put the bamboo fences here because I have the bamboo lamps. I could customize all of them to look like aged bamboo. Let's do that. Yeah, yeah, I like that. I feel like down here I should actually plant some bamboo trees because like, where's all this bamboo coming from? I really don't need these to be in like open areas. If I ever, ever need bamboo, bamboo sprouts or young bamboo, I could just go on a destination island. Cause like the amount of trees there, I should be fine. And by trees, I obviously mean, you know, giant bamboo stalks. Perfect. I actually really like that. Just had an even more genius idea. So now that I have those giant bamboo stalks back there, those are hiding the standing out fences. So like, even if I pan, not down, pan up, even if I pan up, you don't see them there. And it's like perfectly hidden. So I'm just gonna come here, I'm gonna grab these lanterns, and I'm gonna put these lanterns here to make it seem like all of this is completely naturally laid out and planned. Meanwhile, all of it has so much functionality. Yeah, okay. This is magical. I dig it. I dig it a lot. Guess I put my last lamp down here. I just came to a really weird discovery. So that's in the middle of the block. This is in between the left and right. And that is in between right and the shoreline. So apparently the shoreline counts as a half block. Does that mean that I could put a bamboo partition right here? Oh my god, yes, that does work. So I can't put like a fence here or anything, but I could put down a partition or a dino screen as we learned. And I'm pretty sure we could customize the bamboo partition to be the same dried bamboo. Sure can. Yep, let's do that. Yeah, 
Yeah, that's pretty great. Pretty great. So I'm pretty sure you guys have seen the uh, the trending hashtags on Twitter of the U.S. military had surveillance footage of unidentified aerial phenomena, a.k.a. UFOs. And uh, they were like, yeah, we totally took this footage. Wall Street Journal got their hands on it ahead of time. And then I also saw the footage of uh, the UFO sighting in Jerusalem, and pff, that is nuts. And one of my friends was like, oh, this is all crazy. And I'm like, how can you truly think that we're the only intelligent people in the universe? In the grand scheme of the universe, our civilization is extremely young. And with that, we're limited by our knowledge of technology, our resources of our planet. And there may be planets and civilizations millennia older than ours. And they may utilize their technology and resources of their planet to do some really amazing stuff. Like, you know, space travel. Also, really like the way this looks. So, uh, yeah. Unidentified aerial phenomena. I kind of really like how I'm segueing from a really lush green area here. And then we have the bamboo. I think I want a little bit more bamboo integration. And then we come to like a dirty, dusty, dead looking area with all this dried bamboo around us. I like that a lot. So you know what? I'm actually gonna ask you guys in the comment section below, what cool stuff do you think I could put here? Like it's a very small area, it's oddly shaped, and I feel like we should do something cool, something formatted for like, Something that you would see in the middle of a town, a town square, a central park sort of thing. Leave a comment below or tweet me with a picture of what you're doing on your island at Austin John Plays. Because I have this area that I want to be low, and this one down here could be high, and then this one down here could also be high, and I'm sort of having a, a mental block on what I want to do here. So I think this area. We can do something with it, with the bamboo. And I'm just gonna kind of freestyle this here as far as like what I want it to actually be. Cause I want to keep these hedges here cause it continues the walkway nicely. But we have this four tall and what is this? Like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight ish area. Let me go see what I have in my storage that would even be like applicable to this. I decided on some random variations of stone flooring here and I have a whole bunch of these tea sets. And I feel like it would make sense for people to have the tea on the floor. I have one floor seat that I customized to be this Japanese sort of style. And then I also have a Zen cushion that I customized with the same stuff. I like that. I might end up putting these half space down. And speaking of bamboo shoots, I have the, the bamboo doll. And here I want just the kimono stand because I don't know where I'm going to put this thing. So might as well put it here. I obviously customized this to match these. Ooh, that actually really ties it together. Back here, we're just gonna put down two little bushes, which I should actually customize these two lamps with that same pattern. Also, I don't know how I'm gonna like this pattern on the red-ish lamp. It's not bad. I now realize that this one is based off of the Zen fencing, and this one is based off of the smoked cured bamboo, which I'm gonna customize the bamboo inside of this bamboo bin to be the smoke cured bamboo so it matches that lamp. Yeah. That's nice. That's really nice. Oh, I got an achievement. Oh, and two Nook Mile Plus achievements. Oh, this wants me to make a flower crown. Oh, but it's worth 1,500 Nook Miles. I might do that. Yeah, I might do that for 1,500 Nook Miles. Sign me up. I customized 100 items. Sweet. Right down here, I have a stone stool. And on it, I want to put down the little bonsai tree that I have. Yeah, oh, that's so nice there. Ooh, is it too green though? Let's try the smoke cured. Ooh, I like that. It gives a nice, nice little contrast of color here. I don't know what it is going on with the locusts, but they are just everywhere right now. Oh, it's so nice. It's so small and like perfectly proportioned there. And you know what? Right here, just plant another one. Great. And uh, yeah, I think that's gonna wrap up this area pretty nicely. And not only wrap up th this area, but wrap up this episode.
Guys, I want to thank you so much for checking out this episode of Animal Crossing New Horizons with me, Austin John Plays. It just clipped through my face. That's cool. All right. Uh, bye.